What is up everyone? A Day here and I'm gonna show you guys kinda like a walk through my track Strange Variable and I started with these weird chords in here. Oh yeah and for just ignore the mix down master or whatever I knew it was shit. And uh I just like the writing of it. Maybe I'll come back, remix and master it, maybe a VIP, but for the most part, the song was done. I just wanted to finish it and not have to worry about it and move on to new stuff, you know? So, yeah, Mix Master is a little muddy. Everything kind of drowns out, but the musical writing part of it was fun, and it's going to be educational for you, and hopefully my CPU loads. So for those of you that don't know what this sounds like, I'll play a little bit. This saves hundreds of lives. You know, so you got the m most of it. I'm gonna freeze some of this. Ah, oh, no, can't freeze because of a compressor. So, side chaining will be off. All right, so I froze some more channels. So hopefully the CPU will handle for the rest of this tutorial. So, the chords. I started with these chords and at this time, I didn't know what I was doing. So, it was weird. So, like, I drew this E all the way across, right? And I was, like, um, having it as, like, a drone type thing. Something in the background. I thought, I think I was going to make, like, a, a, uh, a riser out of it or something. I don't know how it all started. But then I was, like, you know what? Let me, let me make some chords out of it. And then I started doing chords, you know? And I, I am in C, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to use only white um, keys, make some chords out of it. But I kept, like, that drone feel to it by keeping that E running through it. So then I wrote, like, uh, two key chords with that, which ended up making a three key chord, but uh, or a three note chord. But, uh, yeah, so that that's what gave it, like, that weird, eerie feel, I guess, because it's like... I don't even know how to explain it. Let me just play the chords by itself. And then on the progression, I put that E up an octave. So it's like, I don't, the E just kind of like makes that eerie ring as those notes are playing. So listen to the progression again. So, for the most part, it's the same thing. The B is now down here. I think that's also, oh yeah, so that's, that's what I did. I think this went up an octave, and then I did uh, inversion as well. Yeah, so it went down to a B3, C4, B3, C4. So I, 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 like I said, I didn't really know too much about music theory when I wrote these chords initially. The song was like a, a year in the making. Like I wrote these chords when I didn't know what I was doing, so I didn't know what to do with it, you know? And it just sat as chords and drums for the longest time. And then, you know, as I learned a little bit of music theory and stuff, I knew how to finish the song and make sense of it. So I just finished it and got it done with so I didn't have to keep coming back to those chords and wishing I could, you know, listen to him as a part of in part of a song. So yeah, this is one of those songs that's you know you work on and then it just sits there because you don't know what to do with it. And then you learn a bunch of things and make a bunch of songs and then you come back to it and you're like, hey those chords kind of still have that cool sound to them. I like that synth with those chords. Let's just finish this out and get it, you know, done. That people like it, people like it, but I really just, for me, I wanted to finish those chords out into a song, regardless of what it sounded like, just to give those chords uh, a home <laughs> and not just be <laughs> cool chords playing. Uh, so, yeah. 
From there, I uh, made the drums. Nothing crazy. I'll show you the snare though. So it's and then on the break. So it just gives like a nice little hook and that big reverb snare really added to like this weird scientific kind of, you know, it's just a weird song. <laughs> just a weird song. Uh, so those are the drums, nothing crazy to them. I wanted it to be all focused on the chords and stuff. But if you go to, I have a brass, strings, and a piano. So let's listen to each instrument. That's just there, you know, to give it the head movement, follow the chords, and then it pitches down. And that's when the strings come in. And that's also when the piano came in with that. So now. you layer that with the ARP. So again, I really like the musical writing of it. It sounds really good, but the mix down it was just, it wasn't enjoyable, listenable. So in the future, maybe again, VIP, but for educational purposes, this was a great thing to see uh, musical writing in a weird way when you don't know chords, but you know you could use these keys, you could create some weird things. So I showed you all that, I showed you the arps, the synths were the chords, but I had it layered with exhale. So that fills out the background. Main synths are the sub. And I'm pretty sure it's something with that bass sound and the chords and the sub, the way they're all mixing together is what's messing up the mix down. So I kind of know where to dive in and fix it. I just don't feel like fixing it yet. It's not ready to rebirth this song. And you know the effects, it's the boring effects. I'll just kind of show you them. So all that stuff, but the other effects. And it's really a bunch of just random stuff that sounded good together. Hundreds of lives. 
And then the last but not least was this vocal sample I got. I don't claim it's like a movie sample. I don't claim to be the creator, but I'm a savior. I take the strange variables of human life and make something out of the crazy quilt that saves hundreds of lives. There you have it. That is my song, Strange Variable. I hope you learned a little thing or two with music production, seeing this track walk through. And we have many more songs for myself. Akora, I know, is going to get on and do some of his songs. And as well as Tarantism, when we work together, we have some songs we could overview for you all. And, uh, hey, more transparency i feel between us and you the more learning we get the more learning you get and the more learning everyone gets and we could all go on to the next step so if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button this year we're trying to hit 365 videos a day 360 i mean <laughs> 365 videos a year not a day that would be almost impossible Technically, it'd be impossible, but technically not impossible. But 365 videos a year. Hit that subscribe button. Click that like button. Hit that bell button so you get notifications. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Peace.